All right, this video is gonna be looking at synchronizing the cam gear to the crank gear to time the, the two together. So when the crank's in the, a particular position, it's synchronized with the camshaft. Um, you notice that they are not connected together here, so they get connected through a, a gear train. And there's that shaft we put in earlier here, this gear is going to go on that one. And then this idler gear is going, this one will go on that one. The left side of the case half, notice that this gear has the cam on it. This is used to activate the fuel pump. So the, the little fuel pump lever plunger will sit along this and as this turns, it will activate the fuel pump arm to pump fuel for the engine. That goes on the left side in this case half. The right side, the idler gear, this essentially is just used to drive the magneto. Um, they all have timing marks. I'm going to show you a little bit about that and we'll show you how to synchronize them. Uh, this engine, so the, the timing is found in the service manual. The camshaft has two stamp marks on these two teeth. Nowhere on the else do they have stampings, it's only on these two. So there's two opposite side gears, so a circle there, a circle there. The fuel pump, or this idler gear, if you look on the sides, there's teeth in there with two markings. I'll set it here so I can... Right in here, there are two markings over those two teeth. If we rotate it about 180 degrees, there's one tooth here with a marking there. So the way the pictures... So the left idler gear that has the fuel pump cam, there's that single tooth with the marking there, as we mentioned earlier. There's two teeth with two markings over it. So these line up with the camshaft. The single, the tooth on this one that's got a single mark must go between the two dots of the camshaft. Then we look over here at the crank, there's a mark here etched on the tooth, and over here there's a mark etched on the tooth. Uh, this one's a little bit harder to synchronize. Uh, this single one has to match up with the, the two holes on this gear. So the single hole of this gear matches up with the cam, the two hole, or the two marked teeth line up with this single gear. How you know you have this one correct is when this single stamping lines up with the two on this gear, the zero or the marking over here on this tooth will line up with the, the two teeth on this side. So essentially you just line up all the teeth. You may have to turn the engine to get them to ro synchronize. You can turn the cam right now by hand because there's no valve train. To turn this one, you got to rotate the whole case to be the position you want. So we're just going to line them up. All right, so this one, two teeth there. We're going to find the single, single dot on that one. Uh, sometimes they're challenging to see. You may have to change your angles, may have to get a flashlight out. Flashlight. Well, anyway, so here's the two teeth there. We're gonna find the right in there. We can see the the one. So that that tooth's got to line up right in between that those two. So turn the cam as necessary. Okay, that one. If you're lined up with things, the gear slides down. But we got to make sure that the the single, single one of the crank lines up with the two teeth on this gear now. So you may have to get an angle, lift it up as necessary. You won't be able to see it with the camera, but the one two's here and it's sitting right between the two on that one. So the last one we gotta line up is this gear. 
So there's the tooth, or the tooth with the etching zero on it. We're gonna find the markings of the two on this gear. And then we're gonna turn accordingly. Can't really see it, but so right here we're lining up the two teeth that have their, the zeros etched on there, and we're gonna put those, we're gonna straddle this gear with the single one there. So we just gotta get the angle, see it, and then we'll slide it down. So now this one's synchronized. This one, the synchronization doesn't matter so much because it's just running the magneto. But the, if we use the, the markings on this, we can help orient ourselves that this is lined up in the right spot. So this is linked to the can crank. The idler gear is tied to the cam. So now the cam is now synchronized with the crank gear. And for as far as the magneto get, matters, this one doesn't care so much about the, the placing for the mags. It's more to synchronize this to link the cam to the crank. Now that we've got them oriented, I'm gonna go through and take them off and then put pre-lube oil on all that stuff. It just, for me, it's easier to handle it and get it set up and then all we gotta go do is paint down our shafts and wipe some oil on our gearing so that'll be set for that. So that's your, your timing, your case. Uh, we have to put in our, our cam drive here for the tack drive. And then we have to seal up our oil galleys. And then for the most part, the accessory case will be ready to go back on.